Yo, everybody, Zero Comfort. Yo, everybody, Zero Comfort here for you. You with yet another weekly benchmark video. Oh, there we go. I'm talking with my therapist tomorrow, so that's good. I haven't seen him in like a long time. And on top of that, I have quite a lot of things. The start of the new month. Start of another month here doing something or other. Doing my hair as I usually do on these days. I have a lot of hair. Maybe I should go to the hairstylist soon. As you can see, when I don't have it with the hair gel, it looks really bad. Really bad. I don't know what's happening here. I should get stronger hold hair gel. I think I have a stronger one, but I want to get through this pack of hair gel first before I start using the other one. Uh, the pain. What is this hairstyle? This side always comes out too much. It, it, it flattens down too much. But when I try to not flatten it down, it goes all the way down. Really annoying. How do you do a pompadour? I still don't know how. Now this just looks awful. I have no idea.
<sighs> I don't hairstyle my hair enough, and I don't know nothing about fashion today. What looks My week's been pretty bad. I lost the streak again. Last time, the first time, it was day 500. This time, it was day 50. Streak number three, maybe it'll end on day fucking five. It's an analogy. Uh, I don't even know, man. I, I went for a human character took too long for some reason in my vast infinite knowledge i thought i have time and then i decided to do some little tweaks and next thing you know those tweaks took like 10 minutes more than i had time for 10 minutes as a result i completely failed the thing that bad Like, I, I completely failed. It, it's ridiculous, if you ask me. So I, did, I failed on day 55. So now I'm back to day one. Day one happened yesterday. Today will be day two. I overslept. I slept for 15 hours. I went to sleep at 2 o'clock yesterday. You know what time I woke up? 5 o'clock. 5.10. 2 o'clock after midnight, 2 hours only after midnight, I slept all the way from 2 until 5 in the afternoon. That's 12 hours plus 3 hours, 15 hours. It's ridiculous, if you ask me. It's absolutely ridiculous. I have no clue why that even happened. Well, of course I do. I didn't sleep at all the previous day. I was too, like, racking my head over why I lost my streak and then as a result i played a lot of poker and despite being so freaking depressed it actually helped my poker play to the point where i finally finally after like two to three years in poker chase got to the finest highest level of poker i i'm at i got all the way to 2339 ranking points gold rank is like i don't know 2000 or something or 2100 yeah it's like 2000 the highest rank is 2000 but to get into the highest elo lobby or like uh only the best of the best play you got to get to 2300 more uh points so you need 300 more points i got to 2300 points i played one game and i got first place getting first place in the highest elo lobby which you can only queue for if you're in 2300 gets you the uh poker uh poker title in poker chase for one of the best players so i finally got that title i added it onto my character and i finally no longer have to play poker chase every fucking day uh, i've been doing it off and on like a frenzy recently and before that i used to play it for days at a time Three to four hours per day and a single match takes 30 fucking minutes the good thing is it's on my phone so it's not on at home i don't have to play it like i do league the problem is now i have to play league to get back to platinum and i'm like gold four right now so i'm that means i have to go up four divisions my promo my uh, provisionals went absolutely terrible i'm gonna probably place like gold three or gold four i'm gonna have to level up three times that's gonna take a long fucking time to get all the way back up to uh, Platinum 4. And then after that, I'm gonna start playing Mahjong because I've gotten back into Mahjong now that I don't have Poker Chase. I'm hopefully thinking that I don't relapse into Poker Chase because I've hit the highest level. There's nothing left for me to do. I don't have to play it anymore. Same thing with another poker game that I played. I got to Platinum 1. I was like, dude, I'm going to totally get to the highest level in this game as well. 
But then I looked back at it and I remember that, you know, the platinum lobbies in that game, it's not as it's not as popular as Poker Chase. It, it's really bad. Really bad. The the lobbies are like you don't even get anybody in the lobbies. So you can't even queue for highest level. So there if there's no opponents to play, there's there's only ten people in the highest level at a time. And that's because they probably played against like other platinums for like hours a day. And they're the top ten in the whole server. The whole server. It's not like they're the top ten. Only the top ten get it. If it is, that's still insane. Why would they make it like that? It's more like there's so little people to queue against that there's nobody in the platinum lobbies. So you have to play in the gold lobbies. And the gold lobbies give three times less the points than the platinum lobbies would give you. So it's kind of kind of stupid, really, because there's so little players in the higher level queues. The top 100 is platinum. For reference, the top 100 people are Platinums, Platinum 1 until Platinum 3. To get the Legendary, you have to win in Platinum Lobbies. And there's nobody in Platinum Lobbies at all. So you don't even have a chance to really get anybody to queue against to get actual points to get towards ranking into Legendary level. Because there's next to nobody there. It, it makes no sense. So I'm probably not going to play that game. So there's only two things left for me now. Mahjong and uh, League of Legends. And once I get League of Legends back to Platinum on both Solo Q and Flex Q. That's probably going to take me six fucking months, by the way. I'll finally be done with that. And then I can worry. don't have to worry about that for another six months. Then I'll have to do it all over again. But at least Poker Chase, the, the ranks don't reset. In the other poker game... They play seasonal. Your rank gets reset every season. So I don't even see the point. I already got the Platinum Border in that game as well. So I, I don't even know if I really want to play that. Mahjong, the ranks are permanent too. So I'll probably have to start working on Mahjong. Just so that I could get better at more gambling games. Mahjong and poker are the only things. I, I played a lot of blackjack in my day. I fucking hate it. it it's against the house and the house always wins. So why even try? And, you know, I, I did dabble in card memorization and all that, but it's just not, frankly, worth it. It's not worth it at all. Card counting and all that, it, it's good and all, but just for a 2% extra chance, if you lose your mental at any point, which I do daily, you're, you're basically fucking... Your mental takes you down like 20%, let's be honest. Anyway, 23rd, 48th, rough draft. Excuse me. Rough dreamt dream. Pretty good. I liked it. Uh, turntable rip percussions. I already talked about these two. It, it doesn't really matter. We'll talk over them one more time. Um, I didn't have a lot of time, so yeah. This is the new ones. Magical turnabout. I felt like I did pretty good. Uh, for some reason, everybody on DeviantArt didn't like it. Probably because it's Magic Koopa. Which is, you know, Kamek from the Paper Mario series. Paper Mario series it was a big part of my childhood. Not as much as Pikmin. I, I love Pikmin way more, but Paper Mario was also a real big banger. Real good time. Second most favorite game, I would have to think. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Every Paper Mario, other than Super Paper Mario, I think they should have just read on Paper Mario Thousand Year Door concept. You know, it was a really good concept. I don't know why they, they went into Color Splash and all that. The latest one, Origami King. I like that one too. Origami King, Super Paper Mario, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. All good games. I never really played the original Paper Mario, like the first in the entry series. But uh, however, it's... It's probably really good, too. Thousand Year Door really perfected the scenario, I feel. Uh, magical Turnabout. Hammock. I ran out of time, but I, I was able to concept the broom as well, so I, I felt pretty good about that. Non-relevant concept. This one, uh, it was good and all, but when it comes down... However, when it comes down to it, the neck doesn't meet up with the ear at all. 
It looks really weird if you focus on the ear. That I didn't even notice the ear was off until I finished the concept. Furry prospects, ran out of time, so I drew Paper Mario, ran out of time, so I drew Paper Mario. At least I was able to draw like uh the Coca-Cola the cola thing that Bobbery wants in uh Fabio's hand. That's that's cool. Gathering blunder? I was blown out on motivation, so I, I just drew you no know, Beldum. I tried recuperating my uh, motivation by, you know, to make up for the blunder of yesterday by drawing a human character for once. That really did not work out well. You can see here 12 o'clock a.m. January 31st, where it should have been the 30th because it's the 29th at 10.55. As a result, I did not have... Uh, I submitted it way too late. One minute too late, so... I lost the streak, 55 days. Still submitted it for this month's uh, improvement. I did two characters that I, I like pretty much. However, yeah, that's about it. So for the 31st, I drew Akasepia again. I feel like it's really weird because this uh, shirt isn't, isn't as bulky as the sweater. I didn't have a lot of time to concept it. I ran out of time, even though I put three hours into it. Overall, I'm still pretty happy. The, there's a little point right here in the neck that I didn't even see until the concept. Still, you know, you can make it out to be, you know, stylistic choice. Which is what I make this out to be, stylistic choice, because I didn't have time to concept this out to be regular straight lines. Regular curved lines. More like, just kind of like, eh. 1157 you know three minutes before I said you know maybe I would turn in an hour early this time get it out of the way today seems like it's gonna be another close call 725 I don't have a lot of time to begin with and I don't know maybe I really will bust on the fifth day the Five hundred thirteenth, the five hundredth day, the second streak. Second streak ended the fiftieth day. Third streak. Who knows it will if it'll end on the fifth day? I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna certainly try. That's for freaking sure. It's very unlikely, but who knows? However, who knows? I, I just got to remember that I got to pick myself up and redo it every single time. Otherwise, I'm going to fall behind. And if I fall behind, I'm going to become what I hate most, which is giving up on something that I invested so much time in for no other reason than my pride. Which is the one thing I will not stand for ever. Hopefully. At this point, I can only say hopefully, because I don't know what the heck I'm thinking. Uh, it's been so long, and I'm going to talk to my therapist about it tomorrow. Probably. Or maybe I won't say anything in particular, because I talked to you guys about it. Anyhow, today will be the second day of the third streak in a row. For sure, it'll be better than last streak. For sure. I can only say for sure because if I say maybe, then it'll come to pass. It won't. Leaving things up in the air until the last minute has always been my greatest bane. Probably. Anyhow, thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time or something, I'll see you all next time. Till next time or something, I'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching.